What's up dudes and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are theorizing in a country called Zimbabwe. And you already know the drill, let's dissect the flag. See, this is a flag of Zimbabwe. Pretty distinct, right? So here's what the results say. So the yellow stands for its wealth and materials in the country and prosperous gold and red represents the symbol of bloodshed during the first and second Kernero Wars and struggle for their independence, and black represents its heritage, race, and ethnicity of a black majority of white triangles symbolizes for peace and whatever this animal is, and a star, of course, which makes sense for a small, for an average sized country. So let's see the coast of arms. You can see that bird sitting like in a chair and two deers. On the seal, which is ocean and a rock in a green area. And it says unity, freedom, work. In a yellow, it's kind of like a field, by the way. And there's axe, and of course there's a, I think that's probably a gun, but probably it might be another weapon. But this one's axe, this one might be a gun, but I'm not too sure about it, by the way. So, however... The country is located in Africa, bordering Zambia, Botswana, South Africa, and Mozambique. And it's a part of the African Union, like all African countries. And there's the Tower of Great Zimbabwe. Yeah, that's the actual towers. And the Monroe Carnival discovered this place in Williams Crown Terrace in 1836. Yeah, and it was coined by the British in September of 1890, and then there is the Battle of Shangyuan, October 25th, 1893, and Iron Smith signing in November 11th, 1965, with his cabinet and audience, and there is Bishop Asbel Monroe signing the Lancer House Agreement, ceded to British Foreign Secretary Lord Carston, and there's the trends in Zimbabwe's Poverty index throughout 1970 to 2010. You could see it's gone up and down. Yeah, you could see that. And there's a map and some flood in June of 2008. Yeah, the South was at high risk for flood. So if you live there, do not go there. I'm telling you, do not. And there's Robert Mugane attended Independence Day in in South Sudan in July of 2011. Pretty cool. And also the Zambian River in the Mana Pools National Park. You could clearly see why. And there is a Zimbabwe map of the climate coefficients. Tropical savanna climate is around right here. Warm desert climate is around right here. And warm semi arid climate is right below the south. Yeah, it's most of the south. And humid subtropical climate is the north or either this small area nearby the south. And in the humid subtropical climate, subtropical, oceanic, and highland climate is in the middle area. And there's basically an elephant in Harare National Park and the Parma in Zimbabwe and the Harare and Movement for Democratic charge in 2005 and the Zimbabwean Defense Force which has the Zimbabwe Defense Force with a bird and an eagle and two sticks and a demonstration in London against Robert Mugami protests in there in Zimbabwean police in Zimbabwe but Robert Mugami is no longer president it was a coup in 2017, and there was a French division of Zimbabwe. You could see the economy going up. So there's Zimbabwe just way down. It needs to catch up. And there's the export. So let's go them all. Gold is 42.4%. Diamonds, 5.45%. Jewelry, 3.23%. And raw tobacco, 10.8%. Raw sugar, 2.34%. Phosphorus tobacco is 3.99%. Raw tobacco, 0.38%. Ferroids, 
5.71%, Nickel Metals, 1.52%, Raw Cotton, 1.27%, and Non Knits is about 0.23%, Life Durance, 0.37%, and Other Nuts is 0.54%, Tropical Fruits, 0.35%, Sucarus 0.95% and tea 0.83%. And there's nickel ore 5.66%, common ore 1.5%, and other uranium is 1.1%. And there's granular 0.81%, and other hundreds and skins 1.2%, and then there's Steam turbulence is 0.35%. Postage stamps, 0.52%. Who does a lot of export for a small country or an average country? And there's a market in Harare, which is doing its business. Business is booming. And there's a GP per capita in there. You could see right here in Zimbabwe, it's just going down. It needs to catch up. Since their economy is really bad, and there's the victorious falls ending and up, there's the iconic Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe, and there's scientific research in Optimal in Southern Africa. I'm not too sure about that. And scientific percentage trends in there is Zimbabwe, which is low. It's low, very low, on its trade system. And Tonga women. And basket, yeah, you could see Harare, the capital, Botswana, Monterey, and Catholic Church, and life expectancy, and a lot more. Just a beautiful country with its own culture. You could see why. So let's theorize the country, shall we? See, their capital and largest city is Harare, and their official language has 16 languages, which is Kurma, Kurma, English, Kurmana, Kosian, Prosperity. Tosla, Namlana, Nadu, Namlane, Sorani, Sora, Sign Language, Sorto, Tonga, Twatsana, Vanara, and Zora. And the ethnic groups are 99.38% Black American, mainly in Sonana and Namlane, and 0.22% are White African, and 0.18% are Colored. 8% are like Asian, and 0.2% are others, like 0.8 are Asian, and 0.1 are not started. And their religion is 84.1 Christian, and 69.2% are Protestant, 14.9% are other Christian religions, 10.2% are no religions, 4.5% are traditional faiths, and 1.2% are others, and their development is Zimbabwe, Unzonio, or Kogashio. And their government is Yorantari Dominion Party Presidential Republic. And their president, Armand Magwana, since November 24th of 2017. That was like five years ago. And Vice President, Castino Kanzani, since December 28th of 2017. And the legislators, the parliament, and the upper house is the senate, and the lower house is the national assembly. And it declared independence from the United Kingdom in like 1980, and declared in November 11, 1965, Republic in 1970, March 2nd, and Zimbabwe, Rosara, June 1st of 1979, and independence finally recognized on April 18th. Of 1980, and their current constitution since May 15th of 2013, and their area in total is 390,757 kilometers or 150,872 square miles, making it 60 of in this list. And the water is about one, and their GDP or purchasing power poverty is about 38.77 billion dollars. Which has no result in it, and per capita is about 2,523. And their GDP non animal is about $34.727 billion, 
order per capita is about 2,301. And their GNI is 50.3, making the highest list, no result. And their HCI is 0 0.593, making meaningless list as 146. And their currency is the Zimbabwean dollar or the US dollar, if you suppose an American. And their time zone is the Central African time zone, which has um, South Africa, by the way. And their driving side is, it is left, speaking of that, Let's VR the country directly towards the story. See, this is the country of Zimbabwe right here. And there's the capital of Harare, which has some stuff to it. But there's pretty much nothing new here except for a nationalist hero memorial and national galleries and parks and stuff like that. Yeah, there's nothing to do here due to their hyperinflation 2017. And their Bonomo, which has nothing to do here except for a museum and parts. Yeah, you can see why there's nothing to do here. But there is something to do in here. Harangre National Park, which is famous for its big elephants. Like, look at how huge that big boy is. And it's also nearby to, like, Victoria Falls. Yeah, Victoria Falls. I don't know where that is, but... I'll just look it up, like, Victoria Falls. Yep, it's clearly in Zimbabwe. So there's the Victoria Falls town between Zambia and Zimbabwe. You can see right here, there is a lot of stuff to do here. Yeah, you could even take pictures of these. And there's Zangaran National Park, which has, of course, a lot of animals, especially elephants. Alright, hold on just a sec, hold on just a sec. I'll be right back in a minute. Sorry guys, my mom was like calling me and um, yeah, do some stuff, but it's fine by the way. It was a little bit of time, but there's a lot of national parks right here, like Masvano National Park right here, where those big little elephants, those are basically elephants. So basically when you think of Zimbabwe, it's basically kind of like elephants by the way, and um, yeah, so that's kind of it for a video, because there's nothing to do much though. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you have an amazing day, a great day, and I'll see you on Tuesday. And the next episode is Botswana, so let's stay tuned for this one.